hello everyone so in the last video we just see what all the elements we have what all the attributes we can define what are the global attributes now in this video we will just see how you can beautify your HTML elements like you are defining h1 paragraph image per, uh, div containers maybe a different different classes you are adding right you are defining all these class attributes so consider that you put h1 to h6 that looks something like this but we are not beautifying it so how you can add a css in a particular element so there are there are many ways of doing it you can just write inline style in that inline style what you will do is you will keep adding a style here so inline style style is color red style font size 40 pixel color blue so what it will do it will just decorate that particular node which where you put inline style otherwise what you can do you can have a classes in your html uh, node like class h3 i will put a class heading like i'll see okay class is heading then to style this particular node i can just use a dot class name inside a style attribute because in the head you define a lot of things you define a scripts you can define a styles all the those things you will go here right now class is heading so i can access it using dot heading and i can just define up all these particular rules which i wanted to write okay this color is something blue so i just put a class heading in h3 or h4 h1 tag so h1 tag is a predefined html tag right so classes can be defined with the name of class with the name of id with the name of tag so there are three possible ways of doing it just try to understand it so h1 is a tag okay i will just try to write it here h1 is a tag so for how you will write a classes simply h1 define the rules okay so here heading is a class so how you will define a rule for it using dot heading so these are the fixed set of rules which you have to follow if i specify the id here then you have to use uh, h3 id is uh, id so you have to follow this particular rule and when you write the complex css with the nested doms then you have to specify the specificity rules because there may be a conflict okay you are defining the id you are defining the styles based on the class you are defining the styles based on the html node also but there is always a preference and browser will read only what is on the priority okay so for now we just define a class we define id so the classes or you can actually add the css rules based on the three different principles you use the html tag name html class name node class name or the id or we talked about you can just write inline style here right here you can just specify okay i just want color is a blue or something else some hex code okay so this is another way or what you can do is you can just create a simple uh, external file okay so what i did is i created this external file h1 and what i will do is i will include this particular file inside my css okay that that is the the right way and this is how we actually do it when we have a lot of files and we also import them into one another like main.css and here in the index.html what we will do is in the index.html we just import it right so here you can just do a style tag so you have to use a link rel style sheet okay and then you just need to provide a path of that path here you can specify href the location of that style sheet and then closing it so i mean in the head tag you can define a lot of things like script tag also script src and here you just provide us uh, all the different attributes where is the location of uh, that particular script okay if the script is uh, in the third party library then always put the script tag after the body because we don't want it to block this html page to get rendered first because javascript is something which will do a lot of calculation on top of your on top of your dom so what we want user to see the page first then you do the manipulation you do the 
changes in the dome structure, update the styling, update the color, whatever you want. So we always put a first of all we have to use a sync differ and then put it inside after the body. If this is not required at the page load time, this can be loaded asynchronously. Okay, link is used to externally link a style sheet where you can put all your styles there. You don't need to write inline styles inside here, inside a head tag. Just using the style tag. And here you just keep writing the h1. So h1 is a tag, right? So styles for the h1 will be like this. And I need a type text CSS. Then we have any other class like uh, heading. So you have to use dot for that. If you have any ID. Okay, this is how we define a particular rule for a styles. Okay. Thanks everyone.